Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. The table of trigonometric functions has some useful information that we can use with our conduit bending. Namely, one of those functions happens to be the multiplier for any angle. Now, which of these is it? I'm going to show you a simple way that you can teach yourself so you don't have to remember it. At the same time, we're going to go over a little bit of things on the trigonometric functions. Now, it appears in the Uglies book, and many of you have that in your toolbox, and on the edition I have, it's on page 135. Now, I understand in some of the later editions, they've moved that to a different page, so you'll just have to look for it. So I've got that taped up to the board here. So let's take a closer look at this trigonometric table, and let's see if we can make some sense out of this for our purposes. So here we are at the page 135, and it says natural trigonometric functions. And it starts out here at the top. It's got a, several functions listed here. Now it says angle on this side, and it has 0, and over here it has 91 and 89. And as we go down, it has 45 and 45. Because with the trigonometric functions, they work as it goes down 45 degrees, and then it moves towards 90, the function changes, like it says sine here, but at the bottom it's cosine. And here's the cosine, and here is the sine. So if we wanted the uh, sine of an angle, if we come down here, say to 30 degrees, it's 0.5. But the uh, first uh, 60 degrees, which is, we have to use this column. And then we come up for the sine here, for 60 degrees, and it looks like it's 0.866, something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we can make use of this. Now, I said that one of these functions acts as our multiplier. And here's an easy way you can remember that, or, or actually teach yourself. The most uh, commonly used multiplier, it seems, is 2, which is on a 30 degree angle. So all we have to do is, let's go over here at 30 degrees, and if we keep going across till we find the number 2, we'll find the multiplier, which is in the very last column here, and since it's uh, before 45, we're going to work from the top, and it's the cosecant. So the cosecant is our multiplier, and we can use this for any angle. Now, again, if we look down here, after 45 degrees, the cosecant is the second column from the end. And the secant is the end column. And that's when we go start going from 45 to 46 on the way up. So, we know now that our cosecant is going to be the multiplier. So, we can use that to determine the the distance between bends when we have a non-standard angle and we might have measured that angle with a protractor. And sometimes if we just have numbers and we need to calculate something, we can use this function to find out what a certain angle is. Let's look at an example of that right now. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.